ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, new Call of Duty, but first. The DNA belonging to four of America's famous presidents is being blasted into deep space. But why? Well, Texas-based space burial company Celestis is packing apparently authenticated hair samples from George Washington, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan aboard a rocket in what's described as humanity's deep space time capsule. 150 cremated human remains and DNA will be stowed aboard the first flight of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur rocket, including ash from some of the late team behind Star Trek. The mission is planned to go up to 186 million miles into deep space and will also carry personal messages for any alien beings to pick up. Next. There's been more layoffs in the tech industry. Twitter's made another 200 people redundant. That's about 10% of the workforce, including one top senior executive who was previously talking about sleeping in her office. Staff members at the social media platform were sent their marching orders, only for billionaire owner Elon Musk to later fire off a tweet saying, hope you have a good Sunday, before twisting the knife, saying, first day of the rest of your life. Many foresaw the end was nigh for them on Saturday after losing access to their company Slack channel over the weekend. That's the 2020's corporate kiss of death. Stargazers and night owls in England were treated to a very rare cosmic display on Sunday as the northern lights could be seen as far south as Kent and Cornwall. Meanwhile, in the north of the country and Scotland, the aurora formed one of the most majestic shows witnessed in living memory. Beautiful green and deep red lights could be seen as solar flares on the sun's surface as part of an 11-year cycle were directed earthwards and charged particles hitting our atmosphere. Keep your eyes peeled, as more are expected. Now... The big blue octopus, or octopus cyanea, has had its brain activity recorded by scientists for the first time, but was it worth it? Researchers from the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology and University of Naples' Federico II implanted electrodes into parts of the cephalopod's nine brains linked to learning and memory and under its skin to record 12 hours of mental activity. They discovered several long pulse patterns in the brain activity, much like is seen in other mammals, although mystery surrounds what they actually mean. And the sad ending to this tale is the team had to kill the octopus to retrieve the probes. Next, Call of Duty fans, Activision has announced you'll soon get a brand new standalone game, carrying on from last year's updated Modern Warfare 2. Bloomberg reports the gaming giant's current plan to carry over modes and maps for a new edition this autumn. In the meantime, if you're playing the second season of Call of Duty Warzone 2, how are you getting on with those tricky loot locations in the DMZs on the new Ashika Island map? Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus crypto rig underscore busted, and go human AI victory. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Twelve years since Black Mirror writer Charlie Brooker foresaw the horrors of virtual reality, but it looks like the creepiness of his entire History of You episode is here. A company called Wist Labs is developing beta software that lets users upload digital memories captured by smartphone to a VR headset for replay over and over and over. It was envisioned by a developer who wore Snapchat spectacles for a year in a bid to create a VR time machine. But what's the moral from Black Mirror? Well, the protagonist in this particular episode comes round in an empty house and desperately pulls out his VR memory chip. So we'll have to wait and see how it goes down in real life. 
In a complete turnaround, a highly rated artificial intelligence program has been outwitted and beaten by a human in the board game Go. It comes seven years after Google DeepMind's AlphaGo program bested Lee Seedol, then rated as the world's strongest Go player. This time around, another top player called Kellen Pelrine actually beat his AI opponent, the Katago Open Source Computer Go program, by using suggestions from another computer program by research firm Far AI. So while Pelrine did have a little help, it was a considerable achievement in the strategy game against an all knowing machine. And finally. A man's facing police charges after an alleged illegal cryptocurrency mining operation was found hidden under floorboards at a school near Boston. The crypto setup was reportedly uncovered during a routine inspection after electrical wires, temporary duct work and numerous computers seemed out of place. Officials say the data crunching operation was illegally plugged into the school's electrical system and notched up nearly $18,000 in electricity bills over eight months. Nadim Nahas39, who was Assistant Facilities Director, has pleaded not guilty to charges of vandalising a school and fraudulent use of electricity. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast, bringing you the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. And we'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.